10 effects, 10 minutes, part 2. 1 minute for each one of these effects. Lightning, rain, heal, loot drop, portal, meteor, rain, flamethrower, muzzle, explosion and projectile. I'm only able to use 3 textures, each with 2 materials, one bright, the other normal. And the resulting effects are free on the asset store, where you can also get many of my other VFX assets in the Cyber Week sale, which is now live and you will find plenty of amazing assets to assist you with your game development. From text animate, so you can have cool text like we have here on Rabbit's Tale, or like feel to add that sweet game juice to your game. Not miss this sale, links below and now let's go. The first one is lightning, I'm gonna create a particle system and set the duration to 0.1 with a very short lifetime and a really high start speed. But this is facing the wrong direction, I want this to go from the top to the bottom with a yellow color, orange more or less. I'm gonna turn on trails because down here if I add the brightest flare I have to the trails, the random mode can be none. We are left only with trails, so now with the noise, I'm gonna crank this up to 15, the strength and the frequency and the scroll speed. It's really fixed, so on the start size I'm gonna say it's something more elegant and small. I'm gonna turn on collision, set the type to world and say the lifetime loss is 1, so every time it hits the ground it dies, because we want to use a subi meter that will spawn a particle on collision. That particle system is a bunch of sparks, which are gonna have a short lifetime, random, a random start speed and a very short start size. More or less the same color. One for the gravity, no rate over time but a burst of 10 particles and a small cone radius, velocity of a lifetime so we can push this up on the y axis a value of 5, I'm gonna say it's world so it matches the axis of the world and drag and drop the brightest flare I have here. And all I need to do is assign this to the subi meter of the lightning and here we go lightning with sparks every time it hits the ground. How awesome is that in something very close to one minute? Looking good, we got a good start. Let's move on to the next one, which is rain. New particle system, reset the position and... This one's did a high lifetime with no start speed but a pre-warm turn on. I'm gonna stretch those particles, so 3D start size, random, small on the X but stretch it on the Y, random between two colors because I want some of the rain to have transparency, and very important on the shape I want the box, a very big box, on the X and on the Y, with a really high rate over time, and now let's make it rain with velocity over lifetime, between minus 10 and minus 30. Here we go, that's the beginning of something. I'm gonna say stretched because I want this to follow their velocity vector, it is not facing at that moment. I'm gonna use the normal flare, I'm gonna turn on subi meters, spawn a tiny puddle every time this collides, turn on collision as well with world, lifetime loss to one so it dies, a new particle system, short lifetime, no start speed, random start size between 0.4 and 1.5, some transparency on the start color so it isn't so predominant, no shape and an emission of zero but a burst of one particle and call of lifetime so it fades out. Turn on size of our lifetime so it grows and assign the circle that I have here or is a tall billboard so it's parallel with this plane and assign this to the subi meter of the rain and here we go, we got rain. And again something very close to one minute. Nice, really nice. And our next one is a hill. New particle system for some very tiny particles, I'm gonna reset the position and they need a random lifetime between 0.6 and 1.2. A very small start speed, also random, and the start size also random and very small. Greenish color, shaped yes, a sphere, not that big, and no rate but a burst of 10 particles. Doesn't need to loop, color of lifetime yes indeed, so it fades in the beginning, and size of our lifetime yes, so it grows, and I'm gonna use the brightest flare I have. Now we need another particle system for a flare, it's gonna have a start size of 5, a start lifetime of 0 0.6, no loop and no speed, the same color greenish, no shape, no rate over time, one particle in the burst, and I want this to fade out and grow exactly like this. I'm gonna use the normal flare I have, I'm gonna duplicate this particle system because I want to shrink it vertically, stretch it horizontally, Repeat this, but this time shrink it horizontally and stretch it vertically, like a cross, basically. It's gonna have a shorter lifetime, I'm gonna duplicate the flare still, because I want a circle, a shockwave, that's all I want from this particle system, and here we go, a heal. 
I took a little bit more than 1 minute, probably 70 seconds, but here we go, something not that bad actually. Turned out better than I expected. Our next one is a loot drop or item drop, new particle system, duration of 1, pre-warm, it keeps on looping these particles, start lifetime of 1, no start speed, bump the start size a little bit, something bluish, no shape, rate over time of 1 particle per second. I want this to breathe, so I'm gonna use the color of a lifetime, with an alpha key right in the middle, with a small alpha value. I'm gonna assign the normal flare I have. Here we go, we have our flare, breathing. I'm gonna duplicate this. I want shock waves, I'm gonna increase the size and decrease the alpha and start color, so it's transparent. Rate over time of two particles per second. I'm gonna use size of a lifetime, so it grows. And the color, I want this to fade out at the end of its lifetime. And I want to use the circle and say this is horizontal billboard. Here we go. And I'm gonna use the flare, duplicate it, 3D start size, shrink it in the X and stretch it in the Y. I'm also going to adjust the scale up here. Could have done it in 3D start size, but this is one minute, everything is fast. I'm gonna have set this in the pivot and I'm gonna duplicate the the first flare, again, 3D start size, 6 in the X, 1 in the Y, stretch it horizontally, adjust the scale up here as well, and here we go, we have ourselves a loot drop, or item drop. In one minute, this time I made it bright. I can even change the color so it's a legendary item that dropped or something like that. Cool. Our next effect under 1 minute is a portal, and I'm gonna begin with some orbiting particles, random lifetime between 0 0.8 and 1.2, and the start speed of between minus 0 0.2 and 0 0.2. A very small start size, and they can be blue. 40 for the emission, and it all happens on the shape with a circle. I'm gonna shrink it on the X and stretch it on the Y, and the mode is in loop, so they keep going around this circle. A small radius thickness, so it looks like a torus, and I'm gonna assign the brightest flare I have, and here we go, this is what we get. I'm gonna fade them out at the end of their lifetime. Another particle system for the outside part of the portal. Lifetime of 2, no start speed, pre-warm, duration of 2, yes, bluish color, yep, not that strong, no shape, emission of 0 0.5 per second, and drag and drop the brightest circle I have, and I'm gonna stretch it on the transform, here we go, and very quickly duplicate this one, for the bright center, where it's gonna breathe, thanks to the color of lifetime, and I'm gonna use the brightest flare I have, and here we go a portal in a minute or so. <laughs> nice one. Oh, this one is a meteor rain, so let's say that it's gonna be really high in the sky with a lifetime of 10 seconds so we make sure that they hit the ground. 3D start size so I can shrink them on the X and stretch them on the Y. I'm gonna use this orange emission of 100 and a box again, just like I used for the rain, really big box. Velocity over lifetime, minus 30 on the Y, but I want it to be sideways so minus 10 on the Z. I'm gonna turn on a collision with the world. Every time it hits, I want it to die, the particle, of course. Turn on submeters for a particle that's gonna spawn in the collision. I'm gonna turn on trails and say so they have a very short lifetime. Oh, and the Y, this is gonna be a curve. And I'm gonna use this orange. For the head of the meteor, I'm gonna use the brightest flare. And for the trail, I'm gonna use the normal distorted flare. It's going sideways, so on the random mode, I'm gonna set it to stretched billboard. New particle system for a shockwave, a small lifetime, doesn't need to move, random start size, more or less the same color, with some transparency, no rate but a burst instead, no shape but color of a lifetime, and start size of a lifetime. The color of a lifetime is to fade at the end, make sure it's parallel with the ground with an horizontal billboard, and drag and drop the brightest circle I have. And all it's left to do is assign this to the submeter of the meteor, and every time it hits the ground, we get this. Shockwaves. They could be bigger and they could have some sparks and whatnot, but yeah, for one minute or something, it's looking good. And the next one is a flamethrower. I'm gonna make sure pre-warm is on, so when pressing play, all the particles are ready. Short lifetime, but concise. Uh, let me just reset the transform. No start speed, that's gonna happen in the velocity of a lifetime. Random start size and random start rotation. I'm gonna make sure I use world for the simulation space, so I can move the flamethrower around and flames are left behind. Really high rate over lifetime. Small angle and radius for the cone. Now in the velocity of a lifetime, I'm gonna use a curve, so they are really fast in the beginning, on the Z axis only, the forward axis, and then they slow down. I'm gonna use size of a lifetime, but they don't need to start at zero. Color of a lifetime, and this is where I'm gonna use this preset gradient, and I'm gonna use the brightest distorted flare I have. Here we go, that's something. Now for the flare on the beginning, new particle system, 
with a random and short lifetime, no start speed, random start size, I'm gonna select this orange color, no shape, emission of 7, it's gonna fade, and I'm gonna assign the brightest for I have, here we go, that's it, oh, yeah, it's still a bit too big, but we got ourselves a flamethrower, basic flamethrower that we can move around and it burns everything. <laughs> cool. Now let's see how a muzzle can be done in a minute. Doesn't need to loop. This is for a flash, so it's gonna have a very short lifetime and no speed. Random size. I'm gonna select a dull color because I'm gonna use the brightest flare. No rate, but one particle in the burst. Size over lifetime, yes, but it's gonna go from big to small. And assign the brightest flare. Duplicate this, I wanna use it as a plane, I'm gonna push it back a little bit because we are gonna mess with the pivot and I'm gonna rotate it minus 90 in the X. What's important is that I stretch this on the Y axis with a 3D start size, shrink it in the X and make sure down here radar alignment is local. I'm gonna offset the pivot, minus 0.5, I'm gonna duplicate this for a vertical plane where it's rotated in the Y and Z but not on the X. I'm gonna duplicate the first flare because I want a bunch of stretched flares, so random rotation and 3D start size where the X is shrunken, where I shrink it in the X but stretch it in the Y and a burst of 5 particles and here we go. Under 1 minute we have this muzzle flash. I guess I'm making up for some of the others that took a few seconds more, but yeah, under 1 minute muzzle flash. Next one is a weird explosion, I gotta admit, but motion and timings are there. Reset transform and say the lifetime is random, between half a second and a second, a very small start speed and a random size, as well as a random start rotation. Full on random. A dull orange and no rate but a burst of 5, shape yes but it's a sphere, very small radius, it's gonna fade at the end and at the beginning. It's gonna grow, but it's not gonna start from zero. And I'm gonna use the brightest distorted flare. Looks like flames. I'm gonna duplicate it, black color for the smoke. I'm gonna duplicate the start size and the lifetime, almost. It's gonna have more particles, like seven, and a bigger radio sphere. But most importantly, it's gonna be behind the fire. So minus one in order in layer. Here we go. Now I'm gonna duplicate it, delay it 0 0.1. Push it up in the Y and shrink this a little bit. Duplicate it again. Push it up one more time. Start delay of 0 0.2 and shrink this. And here we go. I want this chain reaction explosion, basically. It doesn't have the proportions quite right, nor the color. It could be more like this, but yeah, it's a minute. It's not that much. It goes by so fast. All right, so for the last one, we got a projectile. This particle system is for a breathing flare, reset transform, pre-warm is on, duration of 0 0.5 as well as the lifetime, no start speed, smaller start size, it's gonna be purple this one, no shape, and rate over time of 2 per sec. And on the size over life I'm gonna use a straight line but with a key on the middle so it kinda breathes. Here we go. I'm gonna use the brightest flare, I'm gonna create a new particle system for some very tiny particles it's gonna have pre-warm on. And it's gonna repeat every half a second. Lifetime is gonna be very short, like 0 0.2 and 0 0.4. As well as the start speed is gonna be short, but random. And start size as well. More or less the same color, not that bright. Increase the rate a lot. It's gonna be a sphere with a very small radius. And size it's gonna go down, it's gonna shrink. Starts big and shrinks. I'm gonna use the brightest flare, here we go. Reset the transform. And lastly, the trail, we are going to use a trail renderer with 0 0.3 for the wide and 0 0.4 for the type. Gradient, it's going to be purple in the beginning and it's going to fade at the end. And I'm going to use the normal distorted flare and that's it. Reset the transform and here we go. A very quick projectile in a minute. Oh yeah, particles in world position, so they are left behind. All right. <laughs> That's what we can do in one minute. This was the second part. First part was also crazy with lots of 10 different effects. Go check it out, left link below. Make sure to check out the asset store. This is all free or it's gonna be there. For now it's free on my Patreon page. I left a link below by supporting me on my Patreon. You also get access to a huge library of visual effects. Thanks for watching. And thank you to each patron that supported me last month. And I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. And bye.